here reviewing the strip hair gentle groomer let's see if this type of groomer it will work with the northern breeds like huskies malamutes and samoids so if you're curious just like me keep on watching the price of this tool is $39.99 versus a brush like this one that the price on Amazon he want to get brush. That the price on Amazon is around $10. So it's a lot of money for a daily groomer and I'm gonna read a little bit what the website claims. Their claim is that it's a softer and more gentle grooming for your pet and the it have daily therapeutic benefits for your animal with his unique and rubbery design. It will work for grooming, shedding, shampooing, shine, and massage. It says that the rubbery material will help to blend the natural oils from your dog, applying a gentle pressure you will take out dirt and dandruff from the surface and removing loose hairs. And it will help to rinse water after shampooing. I'm not gonna be doing the shampooing on this video, but maybe in a future video. But I'm gonna be testing all the other clean gentle groomer that my mother-in-law got for Venus and Apollo. I don't know if it's good or not, because it was a gift. It's supposed to be good both for horses and the dogs. It looks like this. They are shedding. This is with the normal brush that we use versus this thing doesn't get anything. This may work for a dog with short hair, like a pug, chihuahua, that type of dog, but with them, this is an epic fail. And this is with a regular brush, how much it comes out. I'm recording that part. I'm gonna put that that's the most important part of grooming. Cuddles and love time. Here we have some of the tools that we use for grooming the dogs to compare to the strip hair. 
This one is one of our favorite ones. This one is from Ellen and we got it at PetSmart. They don't sell this one anymore at PetSmart, but I believe they sell it now at Kohl's. If I found the link, I would put it in the description down below. We love this type of comb because it's really good for the undercoat. We also use this one for small areas and in behind her legs. This one is pretty good because the combs are really long. So for certain areas, this one is amazing. This one we got it in Amazon. This one is also pretty good. And having the double rows of combs, it helps a lot with the undercoat. This one is say is for poodles, but I seem to work really, really good with the type of hairs the Malamutes have. So we really like this one too. This one, I'm not the biggest fan because sometimes it could pinch their hairs. This one we use it just for the long loose hairs on the top. This one is from Ferminator. And like I said, this one is not my favorite, but it does the job of taking the long hairs. I'm looking for a good replacement for this one. So if you know of one that is better than this one, please leave a comment down below so I could check it out. And now let's talk about the one that we are reviewing today. <laughs> the Strip Hair Gentle Groomer. I saw the videos on Instagram when my mother-in-law sent it to me and I saw a few other videos and I think it will work fine with short hair dogs like Fogs, like Jack Russell's, like um, maybe even Labs, but with the type of hair the Venus and Apollo have, this didn't work at all. Like it didn't remove anything from them, it just got a little dirty. I don't know if you guys could see there is a little dirty. I assume that's dandruff. But that was it. Like it didn't took out anything else. It didn't took off the top hair or the undercoat. So if you have a hairy, hairy dog like Venus and Apollo, I don't think this one is the best option for you. I will recommend something more around this. Or this one, this one are my two top ones. So overall for hair removing, I don't recommend it. For dandruff, I think it did a little bit. You kind of see a little bit of dirt on the, bra on the actual groomer thingy, but not too much. And they also say it's a good massager and that it relaxes the dog. But for massagers, we have this thing that I reviewed a few months ago. And they seem to like this type of uh, massagers better. It's like two balls and it actually feels really good because I have used it on myself, even though it's for pets. So I don't recommend this for the type of dogs that we have. Like I say, maybe if you have a Chihuahua, Jack Russell, Pugs, even maybe I saw a video of the company doing it on a German Shepherd and it seemed to take out a lot of hair so I thought it will work on Northern breeds like uh, Malamutes but after testing it on Venus and Apollo it didn't work for us and they're both shedding so it's not like it's the off season this is shedding season they are throwing hair like crazy right now so I don't recommend it it's very expensive Unless you have a short hair dog, I will say to skip this one. So I feel bad talking bad about a brand. I don't know why, but I don't recommend this. So this is it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.